Okay, I'm going to do a quick problem on how to calculate the capital bank, capital gain yield on a bond after one year. But also I'm going to discuss uh, the coupon yield and some other things here. So uh, it, sh it should be a little bit interesting. Uh, I have never done a problem before this on YouTube and I got it out of a textbook that I'm teaching out in my Purdue Global Finance class. So it says, uh, this company has nine years to maturity. Their bonds have nine years to maturity. They pay an annual coupon rate of five, eight point eight percent and the face value of the bonds a thousand dollars. The price of the bond is a thousand twenty seven ninety three and it yields five point four percent. And they want to know the capital yield, capital gain yield on the bond after one year. So um uh, so we could say We'll just put in the numbers kind of like we have in the calculator, N, R, P, V, P, M, T, future value. And also we'll put in here coupon rate. And N is uh, equal to 9. R is equal to this. Uh, present value is equal to a negative this. Uh, the payment, we don't know that right now. We'll calculate that in a second. And the future value is the face value of the bond. And so after nine years, we're gonna, we could get a thousand dollars if we held it for the nine years. But we're saying we're gonna sell it after one year. But anyway, the coupon rate is, uh, 5.8%. So this is yours. This is the yield to maturity. Um, this is the price. And this is the face value. Okay, um, so we want to find I'll just restate it here. What is the capital gain yield on the bonds after one year? So for a solution um, You'd want to find out the price Eight years for maturity. Let me go ahead and Subscript that eight. Okay, so the price at eight years maturity, well, is going to be equal to the present value of, well, the rate is 5.4%. Okay, and the number of periods, well, it's going to be a one year, so it's going to be nine minus one right which is eight years the payment is going to be our coupon payment which is equal to a thousand times 5.8 percent i don't need an equals in here they'll give me an error sorry about that and then um the future value is going to be a thousand dollars so the price of the bond at year eight is a thousand twenty five forty four So I took all those I took all the coupon payments the coupon payment we can calculate the coupon payment here, too Let's do it up here Coupon payment is equal to This times this So I'm gonna have eight years of $58 payment plus I'm gonna get a thousand dollars at the end of eight years and then using this rate I found the present value of all those cash flows, and that's what that is. Okay, so now we can do the capital gain yield. So the capital gain yield is going to be equal to, um, well, it's going to be the, we'll just do the shortcut formula. It's going to be equal to this divided by this minus 1. And we'll make that percent. Take it out a couple places. All right. We could also calculate the coupon yield. And the coupon yield is going to be equal to um, the coupon payment divided by what we started with. Right? What we paid for it. So that's going to be 0.564%. Okay? Now I need to make 
this number negative because I want to use a positive number. I don't want to use a negative number. We're doing math here. And we'll take that out a couple places. Change it to percent. 5.64 percent. And we can do the total yield. Let me let me put the formulas here. Put the formula down below. So the total yield, or the yield to the, the yield to maturity, we can do a check. It's going to be equal to this plus this, and that's going to be equal to the same as that right there. If we did it right, right, the yield. This is the yield to maturity, or we could say equal to the same as that right there. All right, let me put the formula here. So why do you want to know what the capital gain is and what the yield to yield, what the coupon yield is? Well, this is you're only get taxed if you sell it, right? This you get taxed every year as you get the interest. But the total yield is, is what you're gonna what you're gonna have right there. So anyway, so the answer is right here. These two things here are bonus, bonus things. But anyway, I thought that was kind of an interesting problem to do. Uh, just uh, to understand a little bit uh, how, well, you know, why? I guess the biggest thing is why do we have capital gain yield and why do we have coupon yield? Why don't we just use this? Well, the money you make here or lose here, um, that's a capital gain. And that only happens when you sell it. Okay. This is income that you get, so this you have to pay the taxes on this all the time, unless it, and it depends on the type of bond. If it's a municipal bond, no. But anyway, so anyway, I hope that helps. If you like this video, like usual, click on my picture. Just uh, it'll have you subscribe, and or also click like. I'd appreciate that. It encourages me to do more videos. Thank you. Bye.